Today's topic, patterns in your relationships. Hi, I'm Doug Holt with Author of Your Own Story, and this is your daily growth hack, where each day we give you a tip, trick, or insight to help up-level your life and what we call the five to thrive, mind, body, soul, relationships, and business. So let's talk about relationships. Let's talk about patterns in particular. Now, if you're watching this, you're going to see me looking over to a screen to my right. I'm here in my office or what we call the Better Human Lab. It's three stories uh, where clients actually fly in and stay with my wife and I. Um, and so that's also why there's often an echo when I record these. So if you're watching this, you can see a lot of that. But if you're listening to it, I'll try to describe this the best that I can because I'm actually looking at a screenshot of something that I wrote out a pattern one of my clients have. Patterns are just certain things that we see coming up in our lives over and over again. So patterns we're going to talk about today are patterns specifically in relationships. So when you think back on your life, think about the relationship you're currently in or just were in recently. If you, and if you haven't been in a relationship, think of a friendship in particular. That is a relationship. But it's easier sometimes to think about romantic relationships. My guess is each relationship that you've had has a very specific pattern that we could break down together. Now that pattern could be meet somebody and then ends up being the wrong guy. Um, he ends up being an alcoholic or a drug addict or abusive or maybe just lazy or doesn't like the outdoors or whatever it is. You find that person, you don't find out till months later and you're just in too deep. Patterns come over all shapes and sizes. But let me give you a very specific example of a client I was just talking to. So this individual, successful businessman, and he was just having so much problem in his relationships, and he was so down. So we got in a phone call, and during that phone call, I just quickly sketched out on my pad what he was saying so I could then show him the pattern. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a screenshot of that pattern right up here so you can see that if you're watching this on video. Now, if you're not, just go ahead and go over to authorofyourownstory.com where you can find all the daily growth hacks, and you can look at that or go to YouTube because we keep them on there as well, and you can just get a quick glimpse. Uh, you'll also see all my misspellings and my crazy handwriting, but again, I wasn't originally writing this for anybody else to see. I was fully in, in, enveloped in the story that he was telling me because it was a story about his life and what was happening. Now, he was telling me, he's just, ah, oh, I just don't get it. I'm just, I'm getting so jealous. Uh, you know, this girl that I love, I just love her so much, Doug. And what happens is I get so jealous of her, and then I'm just scared she's going to leave me. And his story went on and on and on. You know, this woman, you know, was very open with her friendships with other people. She was, you know, in his eyes, flirtatious. Um, but what he wasn't getting is this pattern he was in. And once I walk this pattern through for you, you may see some of your similarities in there, but when I walked it through for him, he went, oh my God, you know, this is something I've been doing my whole life. Not even my adult life, but I've been doing this since a child. And hey, these patterns, we all have them. I have my patterns and you have yours. And most of us started forming these patterns as protection mechanisms so we could socialize in the environments that we were in. And so we've been doing these patterns in some way, shape, or form since we were really little. Oftentimes it gets traced back to, you know, roughly around five or six years old. You can, you know, start to formulate your, uh, your meanings of life and things that you see and you create stories in your own head and you fall into these patterns. Now, oftentimes as we get older as adults, we actually start stacking patterns on top of each other. So let, let me describe what his pattern happened to be. See, what happened was he's a great guy. I mean, phenomenal and any woman would be lucky to have him, but he falls in love with somebody quickly. He falls deeply in love. And now when he falls in love with another woman, what happens is he just wants to give himself so much. He's a lover. He just fills them up. He, he just lets everything he has and just pours into them, pours himself into them. And then what he ends up doing is not pouring love into himself. So what I often talk about to my clients is you need to fill your own cup first. If you don't fill your own cup and you're filling somebody else's cup, your cup needs empty. And so he got into this pattern where he would fill himself or excuse me, fill his um, partner up and then he'd be empty. So now he was in a cycle where he needed his partner because he needed his partner to fill him up because he hadn't been filling himself up. So now he's in this cycle. And then when he's needing his partner to fill him up, he dumps into another cycle. That cycle is called not enough. 
right? He's not enough because he needs her around him. He feels like less of a man. You know, he needs her to be there. And so because he needs her so much, he gets jealous. Now, when he's getting jealous, he starts really seeking something else. He seeks other women. He starts going out there. You know, she's doing something. He starts seeking other women to fill him up because he's not enough. Now, of course, when he's getting jealous, he starts judging himself as well. So he's getting into yet another pattern of judging himself, which then spins off again to not enough, to then he seeks the other person to fill him up, which brings him back to the original pattern of seeking somebody else and dumping so much into him in the hopes that they'll return the favor, and then he needs them even more. And then when he needs them even more, he's pushing them away because he's so needy. And then he feels even more like not enough. And then he needs more of their love. Then he starts seeking it even more. Then he goes back into judging himself because he's not enough. And you see this, all this circles around. He gets in this downward spiral. This actually spills over, as it does for all of us, out of relationships and into his business. You see, now he was in this cycle. He was in this downward spiral, and his business, he just couldn't focus on it. His business started going into a similar cycle. His business wasn't enough. His business wasn't growing. This also went with his soul. You know, when you're not feeling enough, you're not filling your own cup, you're stressed, right? Because you're worried. You're worried about the other person. Is she going to leave me? Is he going to leave me? Are they going to be with somebody else, and I just don't know? It starts playing with your mind. And when you get in these multiple patterns, and these patterns actually feed themselves and their protection mechanisms. You know, see, he wasn't filling himself up first because he was scared. He was scared of what he was going to find. He was scared that he wasn't enough. He wasn't enough of a man that if he filled himself up and focused on himself, first of all, that was bad You know, because he's being needy. Second of all, if he was filling himself up, he wasn't paying attention to the other person. When he got this and flipped the script, remember it's a pattern, so it's going to keep coming up, but you've got to keep working on it. He flipped the script and started focusing on filling himself up. And that doesn't mean being selfish. I mean selfish, but not overly selfish. Doing what made him happy, filling his soul. The woman he loved was more attracted to him. She wanted to spend time with him because that's the man she fell in love with. She didn't fall in love with a guy that was just dumping himself into her. She fell in love with a man who was being the man who he was. The man that did the things that filled him up. For him, it was yoga, meditation, going outdoors, spending time with his child. You see, in relationships and relationship patterns, you see these things over and over and over again. One of the keys I see to breaking these patterns, and this happens nine times out of 10, if not 10 times out of 10, is spend time filling you first. Fill your cup. And many of us just don't even know what that means. So today, what I'm going to ask you for your homework is sit down in your journal and write what makes you happy. And if you haven't been happy in a long time, first, I'm sorry, and you really need to get in our community and, and jump on board and maybe work with one of our coaches uh, to get you on that, that track. But hopefully you have, and hopefully you can see those things that really fill you up. And maybe if you're having a hard time, maybe you've been married for many years and the relationship's kind of gone dead and you, instead of having a, a marriage, you got a roommate, right? Or somebody else. Uh, think about what you did when they first met. Not just going to the bars or what have you, but what are the things you did? Did you go hiking? Did you go bike riding? Did you meditate? Did you do yoga? Did you really enjoy the arts? Did you go to art gallery? What were those things that filled you up then? Chances are they're very similar. And chances are the things that filled you up as a child are very, very similar to things that fill you up today. So I encourage you to write those down. Also, on a separate piece of paper, write down those patterns. Recognizing the patterns is the first step to breaking them and replacing them with something great. That's it for me today. I hope your relationships are phenomenal. Uh, take time to do the homework. And again, go over to authorofyourownstory.com where you can find more tips, tricks, and insights as well as deeper dives and courses to help you become the author of your own story. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed today's Daily Growth Hacks. Please put your comments right down below and remember to click subscribe. This way we can ensure that we're delivering these Daily Growth Hacks right to you each and every day. On behalf of the whole team here, remember, go out and be the author of your own story.